From state troopers to police officers, teachers and organizations, the Rhode Island chapter of MAD honored local officials for their efforts to help reduce drunk driving in Rhode Island. Anchor Shannon Heggie emceed this morning's breakfast at the Crown Plaza in Warwick. More than two dozen professionals and agencies were recognized for their dedication to DUI enforcement, victim services, and education. Highway News reporter Rosie Woods was at this morning's event and spoke with one family whose lives were changed forever by a drunk driver. Well, I got to meet a family whose lives were forever changed by drunk driving. They tell me they're glad to be here, able to thank those keeping other families from similar tragedies. On Friday morning, as the Rhode Island chapter of Mothers Against Drunk Driving thanked over 25 professionals and agencies for working to keep our community safe, one family stood out in the crowd, a sobering reminder of their mission. Somehow we come to expect that we'll hear these horrific things at 2 o'clock in the morning on 95. We don't expect that we're going to hear them at 2.10 in the afternoon on a neighborhood street. But truly, a bad choice can be made by any of us at any time. On March 26, 2003, 12-year-old Tori Lynn and Rosie was hit by a drunk driver on her way home from school. So you could hear the kids coming up the roads on one side, you could hear the buses on another, and you know, we were waiting to hear our kids come through the door. And we heard other sounds instead. Now Tori is confined to this wheelchair, living with a traumatic brain injury. It should have been dances and proms and, and SATs and, you know, deciding where you're going to go to college. Uh, and instead, it was filled with therapies and doctor's appointments and research. But her family pushes on. Seeing today's event is a chance to thank the men and women who helped save her daughter's life 13 years ago. We were one of the fortunate families. We still have our daughter and she's here with us today and the actions that were taken by the emergency room staff, you know, saved her life. Uh, was amazing. I love the fact that those efforts can be recognized. Kathy tells me she'll be back here at the Ground Plaza on October 30th. She'll be competing in the Mad Dancing with the Stars event. With the Mobile Newsroom, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.